Hi! Recently, the first .NET MAUI version with uh, .NET 7 support has been released, and while the main focus is continue working in stability, bug fixing, and performance, there are still space to include new functionality with new APIs. And today, in this video, we are going to review one of these new APIs. With the release of .NET MAUI, release candidate one with support of .NET 7, we receive one of the most expected and requested functionality in .NET MAUI, and is the support of maps. As always, we are going to learn how to use maps in .NET MAUI and also the maps API, doing a mix between samples and code. For that, let's jump to Visual Studio and let's take a look to some of the samples. First of all, to use maps, you need to use this extension method, use maps in your MAUI program. You get the MAUI app builder and using the extension method use map, you are just enable the use of maps in uh, your MAUI application. We are doing that in this way because like what's happening in Xamarin Forms, the maps uh, support is included in a separated library. And also, probably this compilation directive is calling your attention. And this is mostly because there is handlers for map support in .NET MAUI with uh, Next 7 support using handlers and native controls in Android and iOS, but there is no map native control in WinUI yet. For that reason, we are waiting for that control and in the middle, allow you to create cross-platform applications with support for all the platforms supported by .NET MAUI. We included a web view maps integration in the .NET MAUI community toolkit for now. This is a temporal solution to allow you to continue using maps from now on, but at the moment we receive support in WingY for a native map control. The idea is to remove these compilation directives and use use extension method to use native controls in every platform. So after do that, the other thing that you need to do in every platform, mostly in the platform folder, is modify your Android manifest, etc., to introduce the API key from Google Maps, etc., to use your maps. After do that, we can just jump to the samples to take a look to the API. So let's start with a basic map. And whoa, we are here in the Maui uh, island in uh, Hawaii. Let's test the basic properties from maps with these properties. So we can enable and disable the zoom. With the uh, zoom enable, I can use right click to zoom. I can use the buttons to change the zoom. But the second lead, we remove the zoom in out buttons and also doing double tap, we cannot zoom the map. The same happens with the scroll enable. With the scroll enable, we can use scroll, just dragging the map and disable it, we cannot do anything. Probably under some conditions, these properties are useful for you. And for the rest of the properties, I'm going to move, for example, to uh, United States, where I'm going to enable the show traffic uh, option that, as you can see, enable in the main routes uh, information about the traffic status. Lately, the last option is show uh, the current user position. When we enable it, you can see here a small thing in the map showing where, in this case, the emulator uh, indicating my, my fake position by the emulator because in fact I'm in Spain but yeah, you know, this is showing by maps uh, the geolocalization of uh, your position this is the basic map properties without drawing pins, uh, shapes or any, anything special let's go to take a look to this map sample and for that I have here some page, some maps gallery, and the basic map gallery is this one where we are going to take a look to the shamel. To use map, you only need to include the map element in your shamel. 
and to use these basic properties so user is issuing user it's a boolean of course it's a bin double property so you can just bin this property to another element in the ui to a property in your bin model etc there is the is traffic enable property to show or not the traffic status is zoom and is scroll enable in this case pretty easy enable scroll and zoom in the map so this is the basic usage of the map but probably you will want to use more expanded options uh, for example you can change here what's the you know the type of the map that you are showing so for example this is showing a, a hybrid map option and you can change also uh, programmatically the scroll of the map for that we are going to jump to this option where the main property used in this case is or behind is the map type property that support three options that is street view the satellite option and the hybrid option that is a mix between the two other options then also we can also change the zoom and move to any specific region just using the move to region method that you comes from shamarin forms probably you know that this all this property already existed before in shamarin forms exactly the same api then probably you will need to include some pins in the map so you can add new pins or remove existing pins clear all the pins or use add and update the position of the pins use changing existing pins in the map that's all possible with two options we can use set pins in this way let's go to the code behind we have here our map called pins map so we can access to it to in, in the code behind now here we have a, a collection of positions by coordinates to include new pins, the only thing that we need to do is access to the pins collection and use the add method. To remove pins from the system maps collection, we can use the remove add method. Pretty simple, pretty easy, but we can also use by double properties to do something like this. We can use uh, the item source property to bind all the pins in the map to a collection in a, a list collection of pins like we are doing here and also you can define and uh, customize the item template of every pin so you can create a pin use binding the specific location text and information uh, in the map like this when the user taps the pin we can show a small pop-up with information like the location, the address, etc. And also if we include the address, the map can allow, can allow to show some options like get the instructions to arrive to, to this place, etc, etc. So we can add and remove pins like in this way using a collection and we can add and remove in this case like for example here we are doing that from a view model then under some more advanced options probably you need to show and draw some polygons like a circle or more complex polygons like in this case we can draw one specific polygon around for example a building or a river or whatever so to do that let's go to the polygon sample in the map inside the map we have different options like the property maps element that spec a collection of uh, shapes we can draw for example a polygon like in this way setting all the points of the polygon or we can draw a polyline like this line or we can draw for example a circle like we was doing here pretty simple but uh, include functionality for more specific cases that are really really useful so this is the map support in Domain Maui. As you can see, it's uh, mostly the same API properties and functionality that you already had before in Shaman Forms. If you are new to the Domain Maui development, you can see that it's a really simple API, easy to learn. So I really expect that this video is useful for you. The Maps API has been one of the most requested APIs from the Domain Maui release. 
I'm pretty happy to have it now and it works in exactly the same way that it was working before with some new forms with exactly the same properties, methods, etc. There are really small changes in, in the CPI. So if you already worked with Xamarin Forms, probably you already know how to work with, with maps. For the rest, I really hope that this video helped you to know how to work with maps in the Maui. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel to get notified for new content and see you all soon. Bye.